Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. We have a guest appearance in today's video. My husband Alex is with us today and we are going to be doing a taste test and we are going to be tasting all the pumpkin and fall goodness from Trader Joe's. So we're very excited about this. We have a very good selection of stuff. Um, we won't be trying everything that we bought in today's video just because I don't want to cook um, some of the stuff just for it to go to waste. There was a lot of like soup or chili, uh, waffles, and I don't want to make the stuff and it go bad. So in future videos and vlogs throughout the season, we'll be cooking some of that other fall themed food and we will rate it then or we'll let you know what we think in those videos. So a few of the things that we're not going to try today because I don't want to fix them and then go to waste. Um, at first, the pumpkin waffles. We are not going to do the butternut squash mac and cheese or the butternut squash mac and cheese bites. Although, I am very excited to try both of these. Um, we did pick up the pumpkin rolls, which I'm also really excited to try. And then we're not going to do the caramel apple dipping kit tonight, but we're going to be doing this in an upcoming vlog. So I think that will be super fun. Um, same with this. We're not going to do the pumpkin chocolate chunk oatmeal cookie mix, but I will probably do this in a vlog. The autumnal harvest soup. The autumnal harvest creamy pasta sauce. I'm very excited to try this. Um, the harvest chili made with black beans, butternut squash, cauliflower, and sweet potatoes simmered with pumpkin puree and chili spices. This sounds so good. And then we will probably not be doing the pecan pumpkin instant oatmeal. And then I, because we're not gonna fix the waffles, we're not gonna need to try the organic Vermont maple syrup. So what we're gonna do today is we are going to try each of these items and we are going to rate it um, one out of five stars. And then at the very end of the video, we will um, tell you our top three favorites. So I think we're ready. We've got some frozen stuff over here and some cold stuff. So we need to go ahead and get started. So we're gonna get started with the um, Trader Joe's pumpkin ice cream. And I am very much excited about this one. I think it's going to be so good, but we'll see. So we are going to open it up. And it's already a little bit mushy. Okay. We're just going to stick our spoon in. Okay. One, three. Yeah. One, two, three. Okay, so we'll count down. Um, we'll count down um, and then we'll take our ready. Okay, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Three, two, one, five. Three. Hmm. Okay. I thought it was really good. I thought it tasted like a pumpkin spice latte, an iced pumpkin spice latte. I think like it identical. would go good with pumpkin pie in a weird way, but... I don't know. There's a, it's like too pumpkin spicy. spicy. Is it spicy? Yeah, yeah it yeah. is really spicy. It's not something that I could eat a lot of at one time. No. But it is very good. Like very, I, the I, flavor. I is like there. it. Yeah. The flavor was there. So our next frozen item is the hold the cone, and this one is in the flavor pumpkin ginger. And I've had the hold the cone, like the chocolate one, like the chocolate dipped one. I think it is. Um, they're little. Perfect set, snack yeah. size. I think we can share this one. I'm really nervous about this actually because I don't think I like ginger, but I don't know. Okay, you wanna go first? <laughs> you go first and tell me if you think I like it. <laughs> I do this to him all the time. Try it, no emotion, try it. I 
I get it cold. Let me try it. Okay. Okay. And I'm on. Are you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, five. I'm not going to throw out fives every time, I promise. But <laughs> this is the perfect size for a little sweet treat after dinner. And I think the flavor is amazing. And the I, cone is really good. I think it's a lot more subtle than that. Just ice cream. Yeah. But still kind of tastes artificial. You can taste the pumpkin flavor. For sure. Mm. Like that spice flavor. I like it. Yeah, I, I like love it, it actually. Too. Yeah. The next thing that we're going to try is the Greek non-fat yogurt pumpkin flavor. Um, open this up. Has a little bit of a um, orange tint to it. I always stir my yogurt. Mm, that doesn't smell good. <laughs> Ready? Alright, ready? Three, two, one. One. <laughs> well, that's disgusting. <laughs> Tastes like pumpkin sour cream. Ew. Yeah, no. That is disgusting. Is no. Mm -hmm. no. No, no. No. I don't know what's in that, but that's a no for me. Next up on the list is the pumpkin overnight oats, rolled oats with pumpkin puree and spices. And this is gluten free. So it's just um, the overnight oats in the refrigerated section. They have multiple different flavors, but this is one of their seasonal flavors. Right off the bat, this looks really like peanut butter. I'll see if you can, without like me tipping it over too much. I don't know if you can see the, see the consistency of that, but. Um, I don't know. Let's stir that up a little bit. Okay. This texture is a no already. We'll try the, we'll try. Hold on. Let me get it. Get back. Ready? Go. Okay. Three. <laughs> I don't like oatmeal. So let me preface with saying that. I absolutely hate oatmeal. I don't like the texture of oatmeal. So but I don't even but I don't even like the taste of that. So no, that's a zero for me. It tasted like pumpkin pie. It's kind of got that consistency, but it's chunky. Okay. It's not bad. Yeah, that's mm -mm, not for me. I think we're gonna go ahead and try the spiced cider. I'm very excited to try this, but also I need something to wash all this down with. I should have got us some water, but I forgot. I have high expectations for this, so Ooh, we'll see. It smells good, actually. Cheers. I sniff my, my food. Three, two, one. Three. <laughs> Agree to disagree. Okay. I think that I just expected it to be more powerful. But also, we live in Tennessee, and there's a place called the Apple Barn <laughs> that we sometimes go to, and they have frozen apple cider, and it is the best thing I've ever had in my life. And this, I guess I'm comparing this to that. And in that regard, it's not. No, you get my mind changing. Yeah, no. In comparison to that. But also, I've just never, I honestly don't think I've ever had apple solder. Besides that. Besides that. Yeah. And if I have, it's been like a hot one. So it kind of feels like a warm drink. I don't know. This is good. It is good. I would drink it again. Well, you change it. I, I say four. <laughs> okay, four. I, I, I stay with that. three. It's, it's okay. Not the best I've ever had, but it's okay. All right. 
Another thing that I'm really looking forward to, because I've never had these before, is the pumpkin bagel with the pumpkin cream cheese. And I'm so excited about this. I hope it doesn't let me down. Um, but I'm just so excited. We'll share this too. What I'll probably do is cut this in half. Cut this in half. Wait a minute. This is not a pre-sliced bagel. Are you serious? <laughs> and then, cheese. Okay, well this smells like just normal cream cheese. So let's, we'll see. I'm not a foodie, by the way. I'm a very picky eater, actually. So this is, this is a quite terrifying video for me because I don't like all things. Three, two, one, three. three. Um, to me, this just tastes like a bagel with cream cheese icing on it. Yeah. But I don't get a lot of um, notes of pumpkin. I don't. Any, or spice. Any. Yeah. Hmm. I do get a little bit, but also I've had a lot of pumpkin spice. So I don't know. You know what I mean? But, I mean, I'm going to eat It's still them. good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's still good. But I don't think it tastes like pumpkin. And I don't think it has any spice like that's, you know, like no. the spice is too. I don't think it is any different than a regular, like a cinnamon crunch bagel from Panera. Yeah. Knocks this out of the water, but it's fine. So three's for me. Okay, another thing that I wanna try that I have really high hopes for is this pumpkin spice hummus. And we are gonna be trying that with <laughs> our pretzel crisps. That's great. It smells like mouthwash, actually. Or did I find it? I'm not a huge hummus You don't fan. like hummus though. So, I thought this had a fair amount of spice to it. it. In my opinion, it wasn't too much, but you were able to taste it. Yeah. Um, I would definitely eat it for a snack. I thought it was great. Um, so yeah, I liked it. Let's switch it up and do something like kind of sweet. Um, we're gonna do the Halloween Jojo cookies. So, I honestly don't know if I've ever had a Jojo, but I think they compare to Oreos. They look just like Oreos. I think they kind of compare to like, I don't know, grandma cookies. I don't know how to, you know, like the little just vanilla cookies. I think that's kind of what they're more like. Okay. We'll see. I could be completely wrong. So, it says chocolate pumpkin face cookies with our signature vanilla bean cream. Okay. Yeah. Three, two, one, Three. one. I uh, think I prefer an Oreo, honestly. It's just a basic I don't like cookie. This. Yeah, I, don't like this. I didn't dislike it. I didn't care for it really. That was too sweet for me, I think. I don't know. Uh, let's try this. These are Spooky Bats and Cats Sour Gummy Candies. What color did you get? Green. Green. What 
What do we compare these to? It's like sour gummies. Mm. Gummy bears. Mm. Mm. Okay. You ready? Yeah. yeah. Three, two, one, five. five. Those are good. Those are good. I like stuff like this though. But I thought they had a really good flavor to them. And the green one tasted different than the purple one. Did you have? No, I just had the green one. Well, just a good little yeah, sweet the green sour tasted snack. different than the purple. Another snack I've been anticipating is the fall leaf uh, corn tortilla chips. I mean, I imagine these to just taste like a tortilla chip, um, but they're in these really cute fall leaf shapes. I just think that's so cute. Um, and then we're gonna pair that with the fall harvest salsa. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna dip. Anyways, okay, hold on. Oh my goodness, let me smell it. Look at the, <laughs> let me hold it. Okay, so first of all, this is the shape of the tortilla chip. So cute. Okay, I gotta smell this, hold on. What's the, what's the flavors? An autumnal melange of fruits and veggies, including pumpkin, apples, and butternut squash. Hmm. Yeah, so on the back it says, ingredients are pumpkin, tomatoes, water, Onions, apples, butternut squash, red bell pepper, jalapeno, honey, lime juice, sea salt, garlic, cumin. Cumin. Um, I also don't like chunky salsa, um, so I just did. definitely tell that the salsa is an autumnal salsa like yeah. it is a harvest salsa a you tad, can tell there's a tad hint of pumpkin with a little spice it's different yeah you can definitely tell that there's fall flavor in this so i really like it and these are just too cute i mean they taste like a tortilla chip yeah up next we're gonna try the pumpkin streusel muffin and i have also high hopes Very. High expectations for this one. Okay. Three, two, one, five. <laughs> you like it? Oh, yeah. It's very moist and it has really good flavor. Yeah. It would go. I think it would go really well with some warm apple cider. Yeah. yeah. Up next, we have the pumpkin spiced teeny tiny pretzel with yogurt flavored coating and crushed pumpkin spiced pumpkin seeds. I think this is going to be great. I have so many flavors in my mouth right now Yeah. that it's like I'm confused. My palate is very confused. Okay. I got it. So they are little teeny tiny pretzels. Ready? Yeah. Three, um, what, you not ready? Okay. Three, two, one, four. Three? I really like those, but I didn't get any flavor until after I swallowed. Like it was like an aftertaste. There was a little bit of spice, but other than that, it just tasted like a chocolate covered pretzel. Mm. Like a white chocolate covered pretzel. Oh, I tasted the, the pumpkin. From the beginning? Yeah. I think my palate is confused. We're not obviously going to try this, but I did get my hands on two of the Honeycrisp Apple candles this year. And I'm very excited. Have you smelled it? Oh, wow. That's really good. Yeah. Like, I have not smelled a candle in store that smells better than this like nothing compares to this in my opinion okay what do you want to try next why don't we try the pumpkin biscotti okay with the pumpkin oh. pumpkin butter okay pumpkin butter is here mm -hmm. Mm. 
You want half it? Yeah, that's fine. Is that enough? Yeah. You gotta give two ratings. Well, let's do one rating for both of them together and then one rating for just the pumpkin butter. Okay. Starting with both of them together. Together. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one, four. four. Um, and then just the pumpkin butter. Three, two, one, five. five. <laughs> yeah. The cookie, I think those two together were really, really good. But it was a lot of yeah. flavor. A lot. Two, it's almost like two different spices. Yes. Yes. I don't know. I need to try this by itself. I think I could eat the pumpkin butter all day on the bagel. Yes. Yeah. The cream cheese with a little bit of pumpkin butter on top of that. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of feel like it was two different kind of flavors. But really good. That pumpkin butter is as good as my mammals, honestly. It's really, 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 really good, actually. Okay. Alex picked up these chocolate mousse pumpkins. A velvety chocolate cake layered with silky mousse. And they're in the shape of a pumpkin. So, yeah, he, he even just said that this is kind of, like, big for what he was expecting, so. I thought they were stacked. Oh, did you? I thought it was, like, two. Oh. So this is what it looks like. Yeah, it's a chocolate cake. Oh. Covered okay. with what? Silky mousse. Okay. This is actually not what I was expecting. I don't I didn't read. I didn't read the container whenever we bought these. Oh. I see the mousse. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. I'm still no. thinking. You gotta swallow it, get the aftertaste. Ready. Ready. Three, two, one, four. four. I thought that was really good. Yeah. That is not was not that is not what I was expecting at all. Um, but I thought it was very good and yeah, very, the cake was moist. Yeah, it's almost not like too out. sweet in the very beginning. But then it gets subtle. For me, it was the it was the opposite way. For me, in the very beginning, I thought it was really really good, and then it was hard to swallow because it was so sweet. Hmm. And that was just a half. I think it would go really good with a cup of coffee. Yeah. So they have a lot of flavors in these. I mean, apple mm -hmm. and uh, blueberry. Strawberry. So this is the, this pumpkin walks into a bar, cereal bar. That was a good change. You ready? Mm-hmm. Three, two, one, four. Three. Oh, that was pretty good. It's not strong. It, it's a good snack, boy. Yeah, it's, it's good, but it's not what I would want for a snack. Yeah, subtle, subtle pumpkin. I don't have anything bad to say about it, but I wouldn't reach for it either. I would. I'd definitely eat the whole thing. I'm going to try this. The organic pumpkin spice granola bark. This has pumpkin spice flavored granola layered with dark chocolate and topped with toasted pumpkin seeds. Gluten free. I think I'm realizing that I'm a, a savory person. This is a lot of sweet stuff. It's kind of making my stomach hurt. I don't know why. I really want some chili. Really bad. Okay. Right off the bat. It's bigger than I thought. I thought it was going to be super, super thin. Yeah. So yeah. you have your granola on the bottom. And then you're topped with dark chocolate, and you can see there's pumpkin seeds up on the top. Okay. Good. You have a bigger piece. <laughs> you 
laughing. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one. I did not like that. I thought it was very bland and very dry. It's very dry. It's very weird. Another thing that I really wanted to try that I have really high expectations for is this pumpkin brioche twist. It's a classic French style brioche with a hint of warm spices. Pumpkin-y, slightly sweet, and lightly spicy. Great for French toast. Ooh. Mm. I have a French toast recipe I'm really wanting to try. Great for French toast, sandwiches, and toast with nutter butter. So, I'm really proud of this. Oh. Don't get the end. Try a middle piece first. I already touched this one. Okay. There, it goes. there goes that bag. The bag gets a one. Yeah. That bag is no good. Okay. So, what we can do, we're making a mess. We'll try this by itself. Then we'll put the, we can either put the apple cider fruit spread or the cinnamon bun spread on it. Okay. Here, no. We'll use that one for the spread. I want this one. Okay. Oh my God. Bread on its own. Three, two, one, two. Five. Wow. <laughs> um, I thought it was dry, as can be. It's bread. <laughs> well, I know, but I just thought it was a little bit dry. Do you want to do cinnamon bun spread or apple cider? Apple cider. Okay. Three, two, one, wow. ten. That is so good. The spread is really good, but even with it being on the bread, it's really, really good. It's got chunks of apple. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's really good. That is so good. Biscuits. Oh, That'd be really good toasted. Mm -hmm. The bread would toasted with the apple on it. Mm -hmm. We only have a couple more things left. We're gonna try these pumpkin spice espresso beans. And they are chocolate covered espresso beans with a pumpkin spice blend. I do not like espresso beans. I already know that I don't, so I'm not gonna try these, but Alex can. Because he likes espresso beans. You want one or two? One. Okay. That's yours. Well, I need to find that before I see and then we get it. I'd give it a three. They smell delicious. It, it's good. They're a little too sweet. I think two or three and you're done. But they're definitely it's pumpkin hit and it goes well with the coffee, but yeah. it's a little too sweet. Hmm. Okay. okay, two more things. We've got pumpkin blondie brownies. Three, two, one, three. Four. That was really good, actually. I Four. liked it. It says pumpkin blondie brownies with white chocolate chips and pecans, and it's got a really good flavor. It's yeah. just dry. It was a little dry. Yeah, but it was okay. Again, I think it'd go good with coffee. Yeah, I thought it was okay. The last thing that we're gonna try in today's video are the apple cider donuts, and again. Looking very forward to this. Oh. Smell good? Oh. 
fight with your avatar? My mouth. Oh. <clears throat> so this says it's an old fashioned cake donut with apple cider and cinnamon sugar. You ready? Yep. Three, two, one, Five. one. Oh my goodness. I absolutely hated it. I don't think I like cake donuts. Maybe that's why. But it tasted very artificial. Like that is the most artificial thing I have had in this whole entire try. Oh, I completely disagree. It's really good. Mm -hmm. Go good with hot apple cider. I didn't. I didn't think so. But it's really good. That's okay. Yeah. Well, that's it's crazy how our palettes are so different. Yeah. I feel like mine and yours have been in this video the same, like a lot the same. We've not been very far off. Yeah. Either. All right. We're what not have very many the same though. Favorite. Okay. <clears throat> top three. You want top, to top three. Three. For me, number one for me is hold the cone. Number two for me is the pumpkin butter. And number three for me is the pumpkin streusel. I forgot about this. The pumpkin streusel muffin. That's number three for me. Okay, your top three. Number one for me is the muffin. Okay. Number two is probably the pumpkin butter. And I would say number three would be the bread. Okay. Put the bread and the pumpkin butter together. I think it'd be really good. Really good. Yeah. Awesome. Till next okay. year. Till next year. Thank you guys so much for watching our video. We hope that you enjoyed it. We had a lot of fun collecting these items because if you don't know, Trader Joe's does not put all of their fall stuff out at one time. They kind of put a little bit out and then they wait a few days and I, I don't think it's them. I think it's just how the shipment rolls, but and then a few days later, they'll put some more stuff out. So it was like a scavenger hunt mm -hmm. and it was really, really fun. I think we went to Trader Joe's four times. But it was a lot of fun uh, to kind of gather all the different items. And honestly, it's just really fun to try things that you don't have all year long. And it's something that you can always look forward to. When the fall time hits, you know that Trader Joe's is going to have their seasonal items. And I know that they do the exact same thing with holiday items for Christmas. So we will definitely be doing this again because it was a lot of fun. Yeah, and I'm sure. really looking forward to the holiday stuff as well. So... Thank you so much for watching the video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and you want to see the holiday content. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It would mean a lot to us. We would really appreciate if you joined our very little YouTube family. And go to Trader Joe's yourself and yeah. try some of this stuff and yeah. let us know what your favorite is. Yes, go to Trader Joe's, pick up some items. Maybe you saw something here that you want to try and um, pick them up and try them out and then leave us a comment below and let us know what your favorite Trader Joe's fall seasonal item is. We would love to know. We want to know if it's one of our favorites or if you liked something that maybe we didn't or if you've had something that we didn't even try in the videos. Like I said, we're going to be trying some of the other stuff later on, probably in some fall vlogs. So stay tuned for our vlogs so that you don't miss when we try those and we will see you guys very soon in the next one.